Hi, in this video we're going to show you a tool you could use to monitor your CPU, RAM, hard disk, and network activity in real time. So it's a free download. It's called My Resources. It's just an executable. So you download it and you run it by double clicking it. And you see you have a DCM here. So if you click on the D, show you the disk graph, C for CPU, and M for RAM. And then if you right click, you could pick the network graph. But I've noticed that sometimes it doesn't want to show up, but it also might be because I'm recording at this resolution because it worked fine in the standard resolution for this computer. So also when you right click, you can show the graphs here, all vertical, all horizontal. If you want to just change their arrangement there. Close them all, go to the settings, change the size, the colors, change the icon colors, the fonts, the theme, if you want the dark theme. You could reset them all, change the priority, show the summary graph. If you do that, it'll give you an all-in-one graph like this. And you could also change the theme right from this button here. I see your network information, upload and download. Uh, you could kill processes. Let's say we want to kill Word. So it's running down here. Then there's the tool section. So these will just take you to their website if you want to download some additional apps that they have. And then you could exit from here. And then up here, you have some options here for the network settings. Save your settings, look at the legend colors, change it to day, hour, minute, and so on. All right, so let's try this out here. Let's copy this file, this ISO file here. So watch the disk graph, so it should start cranking there because we're making a copy of it. You can see the uh, red here as well for the D. And then the RAM and the CPU is also going up as well. So it's a nice little tool you could use uh, if you just want to keep an eye on things. So let's say you're working on something and you want to see what's going on with your hardware. You could just do this and just have whatever graph you want uh, running as you need it. All right, so I will put a link in the description where you could download my resources and you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.